it's quite an awesome piece over there in it. Yep. You know, these days to make 2,000 horsepower, that's what it takes. Four cylinders and a turbo, ice water to air, charge air, heat exchanger. Say 2,000 horsepower engine, you think of a V engine, you know, classic, big block Chevy, maybe twin turbo, maybe with a blower, maybe with nitrous. For our generation, this is what we think of when you say 2,000 horsepower. Four cylinders and a turbo. Methanol. It's, uh, it's pretty fun to be part of this whole movement, let's say. And I mean, this is basically, we're inspired by the, by the, uh, you know, the events that happened in the 1960s that, that started the space race. You know, and Kennedy said, hey, we're going to go try to try to go to the moon in the 60s. And then with the, uh, with a, with a huge pooling of engineers and a group of people all over the country and the, and the will of a country behind that, we, we landed on the moon in, at, before the end of the decade, which was unbelievable. For me, it's hugely huge. I wasn't alive then. I wasn't, I was, I'm a child of the 70s. So I missed that whole, that whole bit. But what's so cool, this is the space race of, of our generation because, because of what happened in the 60s and the, and the 70s with the shuttle and the 80s with the shuttle program and the 90s with the shuttle program. That technology is now available to people like us. We have the technology in our hands that they wish they had in the 60s to be able to go to the moon. But that's what started the push for the technology that we have now. And we're able to now, this is our space race. So our space race is how quick can we go in a quarter mile with one of these kinds of cars. And so people ask me all the time, you know, what, what, what motivates you or you know, what inspires you? Well, that inspires me hugely. I wasn't a part of that, so this is this is our space race, the space race of my generation. It's, it's right there behind me. How fast can you go with with a little bit using technology? So that's what I like. If this capsule history of our progress teaches us anything, it is that man in his quest for knowledge and progress is determined and cannot be deterred. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win.